pandemic when you should be extra creative and you do fucking nothing. This is the worst fucking post WrestleMania Raw I have ever seen in my creative. life. In my life. I could put a headset on and commentate Raw and be more entertaining as two personalities talking to each other than these three dips of fuck. You got token douche guy white man Corey Graves. You got Carlton Byron Saxon. And now you got ass kisser from ESPN Canada or wherever he's from. Sounds like another Michael Cole clone. Tom Phillips, Todd Pettengale, Aziz Asamalahala, and Corey Graves, Byron Saxon, roll them all up into a ball of bullshit and throw it up in the air and kick it until it goes 100 miles an hour straight into Linda McMahon's pussy. That's what I want to do. Straight into Linda McMahon's Pussy! I'll start a fire down here and throw water and sh all over my mixer. I'll set my whole house ablaze and my whole family ablaze and everything I care about ablaze because I can't stand this sh anymore. I swear to God, if you take Jake DeMarco's vision, Jesus Christ. I will bring you back to life myself, mother f and I will bring you back Easter 2022, and I'll be wearing a bunny suit, and I'll be sporting a chainsaw, and I will f***ing cut you and eat you live on Sunday Mass for the 15,000 old f***s who still watch PBS. Someday, he'll come again. Oh, I hope he does. And I'll do it in front of Vince McMahon. I'll eat Christ in front of Vince McMahon. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Oh, they're never going to hire you now, Joe. They never would anyway. They never would anyway. You want to play games with me, WWE? You want to play games with one of the, gre the greatest announcers that's going right now on the indies for 15 years I could be Bobby the Brain Heaton but I'd be Joe Cronin much better than that I could be your play-by-play -play guy I could be your color guy I'll be your huckleberry mother you bring on these free mother sad individuals Corey Graves with his tweener comments that are lame and I don't believe them Byron Saxon is exactly who you never want to be friends with. Byron Saxon is the guy at the party that sees the girl getting raped and goes, oh, sh I got to get out of here. That's the type of person Byron Saxon is. And guess what? Corey Graves is the one to do it. And the new announcer, the new guy with his little tuxedo thing from ESPN. Yeah. I can't even say on YouTube what he does. I can't even say on YouTube what he does, but I know Vince McMahon will want a picture of it. I know that. I know that very well. Tony Khan, are you blind, brother? Are you blind, brother? Because this is where the big boys come to play. 60 million views on seats are being tarped off. And now we're in a pandemic when you should be extra creative and you do nothing this is the worst fucking very well post wrestlemania raw i have ever seen in my life in my life i could put a headset on and commentate raw and be more entertaining as two personalities talking to each other than these three dip the you got token douche guy white man Corey Graves you got Carlton Byron Saxon and now you got ass kisser from ESPN Canada or wherever he's from 
Sounds like another Michael Cole clone. Tom Phillips, Todd Pentengale, Aziz Asamalahala, and f Corey Graves, Byron Saxon, roll them all up into a ball of bullshit and f throw it up in the air and kick it until it goes 100 miles an hour straight into Linda McMahon's pussy. That's what I want to do. Straight into f Linda McMahon's pussy. I'll start a fire down here and throw f water and sh all over my mixer. I'll set my whole f***ing house ablaze and my whole f***ing family ablaze and everything I care about ablaze because I can't stand this sh anymore. I swear to God, if you take Jake DeMarco's vision, Jesus Christ, I will bring you back to life myself, mother f And I will bring you back Easter 2022, and I'll be wearing a bunny suit, and I'll be sporting a chainsaw, and I will f***ing cut you and eat you live on Sunday Mass for the 15,000 old f***s who still watch PBS. Someday, he'll come again. Oh, I hope he does. And I'll do it in front of Vince McMahon. I'll eat Christ in front of Vince McMahon. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Oh, and they're never going to hire you now, Joe. They never would anyway. They never would anyway. You want to play games with me, WWE? You want to play games with one of the gra the greatest announcers that's going right now on the indies for 15 years? I could be Bobby the Brain Heaton, but I'd be Joe Cronin much better than that. I could be your play-by-play -play guy. I could be your color guy. I'll be your Huckleberry mother. You bring on these free mother sad individuals, Corey Graves with his tweener comments that are lame and I don't believe them Byron Saxon is exactly who you never want to be friends with Byron Saxon is the guy at the party that sees the girl getting raped and goes oh sh I gotta get out of here that's the type of person Byron Saxon is and guess what Corey Graves is the one to do it and the new announcer the new guy with his little tuxedo thing from ESPN yeah I can't even say on YouTube what he does I can't even say on YouTube what he does but I know Vince McMahon will want a picture of it I know that I know that very well Tony Khan are you blind brother are you blind brother because this is where the big boys come to play 60 million views on YouTube and I'm nobody 60 million views on YouTube. I saw I saw Catman tweet out early. Oh, he's so great. Eddie Kingston can cut a promo. Eddie Kingston can cut a promo. The only thing Eddie Kingston can do is cut cocaine and sell it so his mom gets a meal. That's all he can do. That's all Eddie Kingston can do. Oh, I love my mother. I love my mother. Yeah, you sure do, you sick f you're lucky that Tony Khan is paying that medical bill because without Tony Khan, you hurt yourself on the indies? Brother, you'd be selling a lot more than the white powder of God, brother. You'd be selling a lot more than that. I'm talking about sucking dick and selling angel dust, you nasty New York piece of trash, Eddie Kingston. And the WWE, don't, they, they got nothing. They got nobody that can cut a promo in WWE. Nobody that can cut a promo in WWE. Cody Rhodes can't even win a title in AEW because he's too busy following around some guy with a BLM sign sniffing his asshole for the turds that fall out. A wrestler. Then I watched guy after guy after guy, including the f goddamn Viking Raiders, get a shot. 15 years I traveled to Atlanta, Florida, New York, Boston, multiple companies. And this cocksucker from ESPN just rolls in and gets put on national TV and he sounds like a f***ing twat.
And did you call Drew McIntyre the Celtic Warrior? The f Celtic Warrior? You f idiot! The f Celtic Warrior? You f stupid f idiot! F you! Video. Oh, Vince McMahon! Would you like a drink, Vince McMahon? Oh, that's some damn good shit. Oh, that's some damn good shit, yo, let me tell ya. Yeah, it's real good, Vince. Oh, it's so good, Vince. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let you have a drink. Hey, Vince. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, Vince, why don't you have a drink, huh? There you go, have a drink. Oh, it smells like your <laughs> ideas. Uh, all right. This is a. Oh my God. That's what I had that box. I was always wondering. I can't like, hear out of my headphones. I think I broke them. I think. It I remember uh, I couldn't tell what whatever happened to that box. I sort of like uh, was wondering, you know, what happened to that box. I was like, why is there a big hole in this? God damn it! Like I can't put anything in it now. Like what? What am I? Uh, what do I do with this? And uh, I remember staring at it for a while, being like, I don't know what the, what happened here. Well, now I know. I totally forgot I did that in that video. So there it is, man. Well, it's Tuesday night, and uh, we still don't really have a clear picture of what the hell is going on with Rollins, but I got a pretty clear picture about the world today, let me tell you that. Got a pretty clear picture of that. It is freezing out, like, wherever you are. You know, I don't know how cold it is where you are, but... And it's not even, it's just dangerous at this point, everywhere. I mean, you talk about global warming, bro. This is crazy. Like, it is frozen. I mean, burning. It's crazy. Um, They gave uh, Rich Holiday, what's his name, Rich Holiday? No, that's another wrestler. Uh, Rich, uh, what's his name, Rich something? The guy that, like, broke Big E's neck or whatever and then hurt somebody else. Rich Holland, that's what it is. Holland, Rich Holland. Uh they gave Rich Holland back his music. Remember I've been I've been complaining and bitching about that for how long that I was like this guy had great entrance music and they took it away and gave him some stupid some like other really stupid music and I was kind of pissed off about it cuz I was like, man, when you get a good theme, why take it away? But it's back, man. Even though they used it for the women's pay-per-view not that long ago, which was like, wow, okay, you're going to use this now for the women's pay-per-view when it was like such good stuff for him. Okay. And, uh, but luckily it's back, man. So good for him. Cause it's, it's really fits him, I think, well, and it's a great theme. And so you just suck the cock. It came off the spot. Swallow down my hole. Something like that. I don't know. But it just sounds good. You know? It's one of those things. It's nine degrees where Crystal is. It's cold in the 60s. What, in Florida? I mean, that's not even that bad in Florida. You know? That was years ago. Yeah, dude, that was three years ago. 
Hard to believe. That was even after the first leak that I had in the basement on the from the ash dump behind me. And um, I put up the white bricks right after it. That was after that. And I spent the whole eight months over there in the other side of the room at the desk. I remember because I played a lot of Diablo there and I had the green screen behind me. So for like for about a year, I had a, almost a year I had a green screen on because I, I did, the backdrop was bad. and it was. But I had the green screen. So I was like, I'll just go with the green screen then for, for now until I go back to a regular backdrop. So I got to fix this backdrop though. Cause I had to take all these panels down to fix the wall again. Now they're up, but they're up. Like you can see how disorganized they were when I rebuilt this again, months, weeks ago, more months ago, rather I'd fix this. Now it's all sloppily. Like you can see this line back here. It's driving me nuts. It's just, yeah, man, it's just, you know, it's always, a, it's always a thing, but what are you going to do? All that matters is how big it gets. Um, my steps are literally dangerous. Like to go down my steps, it's like you may die going down the stairs. Um, my, my stairs are 100% dangerous. I ran out of ice melt. So <laughs> John Woodmass goes, my pole is shifting. <laughs> oh, my pole is shifting. My pole is shifting. The new Star Wars movie is shifting. Yes, the the devil himself. The awakening is coming to the force. What's your name, son? My name's not son. It's Zay. It's all because of the boy. They want him. He's not a boy. He's not a girl. He's... He's Zay. Now, a new hero will join the force. For the first time in Star Wars, the LGBTQ will be represented. But which side will they be on? Will they choose the light? Or will they choose the dark side of the Force? I don't even have a penis, but I've got a lightsaber! Now, everybody welcome thank you for coming here for star wars day um yes yes go ahead you can yes you can cheer go ahead thank you thank you everyone for joining us today for star wars day thank you i really appreciate it we, we we're so happy to have you guys here with us that was a trailer for the new star wars we're our first ever trans hero will be in this new Disney film. So we're sitting down with Jamal Atkins, who is playing Heze Zoran. Is that the name? Yeah, that's the name. Wonderful. So we're looking forward to you in this role. What was it like to be in a role that not only is a gender fluid or non-binary character, but also that, you know, that it's being acknowledged in the actual lore? Like we're not just sort of insinuating things here. We're coming out and we're just saying that's exactly what this is. And, and what's it going to look like in the world of Star Wars with the Force 
with with a character so so non-binary like this well when we were filming i thought um that i really wanted to bring something special to this character and i knew what was expected from the fans of star wars and um i knew that um I knew that people were ready for something more, you know, progressive and some, thank you for cheering, by the way, something more progressive and something more, um, you know, it's, I mean, it's the future, right? It's the future of Star Wars and we're in the future in a galaxy far, far away. So to have such regular traditions of man and woman and married and these things, it made sense, of course, for us to have there's so many more than just two genders and so many things like that. Um, and so we knew that we needed to have so much diversity and infinite possibilities, right? Like infinite possibilities. Yeah, thank you. Because that's what uh, the reality of world is. And it certainly would be more the reality in the future. So for that reason what's what's that oh my god he's got a gun what what, what was that what oh my god oh my god Interrupting the broadcast, there's apparently some kind of a problem at uh, technical difficulties at Star Wars Day. Uh, Chuck, I don't think there's a, there's, I don't think there's a, there's a malfunction. I think there's an active shooter here on the location, John. Oh, that, that's crazy. I, I, I don't think that's, that's true. I don't. Well, listen to them, Miss. Oh my God! Are you seeing these people are being killed, John? Oh my God! Well, um, wow. Okay, uh, things are... I thought we'd listen into Star Wars Day and the announcements that they had, but apparently over, um, over in the UK, things are, uh, wow. I mean, they have some of the strictest gun laws in the world. I, I'm really, I am shocked by what we heard. I gotta be honest, I'm pretty concerned with what we just heard. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, I, I'll, we'll check on everybody. We'll check back. In fact, you know what? I think I'm sure everything's fine now. Let's go back. Let's go back in here. If I'm sure they've got everything under control by now. We can hear the rest of the Star Wars stuff. It didn't sound very good to me. It sounded like a lot of sort of LGBT type of thing. But let's go back and listen. Let's see if things are, you know, they've got, I'm sure the cops are there. They figured it out. Uh, guys, do you have uh, more uh is everything settled down? Have they taken out the shooter yet? Have they stopped this, or what's happening? Well, I think everything's back to normal. I just don't... Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Okay, let's... 
Okay, well, well, no, I guess not. Well, that's fine. I'm sure at some point they will settle things down over there in the UK for uh, Star Wars Day, but uh, um, whoa, okay. I hope he's not white. <laughs> I hope the you know that's all you know you can. Whew. Okay, well that was uh, that was crazy. So let's uh, let's do what we always do here, and we move along, and we, uh, you know, uh, we move on. So let's t let's go. You know what? Let's go to the phones. Let's go to the phones. Let's do that. Hello, caller. You're on the air, or no, you're not. We lost you there. Sorry. Well, call back. We'll get you on. Um, maybe we can get you back on. Oh, there we are. I get you. Can you hear me? Uh, can you hear me, caller? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me, Joe? Joe, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you pretty good, man. What's up? What up, brother? Where are you calling from? Looks like you're calling from uh, the... 619, so you're in Rey Mysterio. Uh, you're in Cali, brother, right? Yeah, Joe, listen, man. I, you're a sick piece of shit for what you just said about that shooting. Fuck you. I hope someone shoots your crack ass. Shoot your crack ass dead, motherfucker. You piece of shit ass fuck face. I'll kill you and your fucking motherfucking friends. I hope Bullfrog rapes you, motherfucker. And when he's done raping you, I hope he rapes Tommy. And I hope Tommy's best friend, Crystal, dies of AIDS. Because she a whole ass cunt, motherfucker. Fuck you, Joe. You shit face, motherfucker. Fuck you, you stupid prick. Eat shit, fuckface. Go ahead, say something really fucking smart, bro. Say something smart, Mr. I don't have a dad. What well, makes you think I don't have a dad? Joe, you fuck, you don't have a dad. He's dead, motherfucker. And I know where you live. I'll make sure you don't have a mother, motherfucker. Kill your mother. I will suck a fucking dog's dick in front of your family, motherfucker. And they'll never forget it. They'll grow up seeing dog dick sucking everywhere. I'll fuck up their whole life. They won't be able to go in a shopping mall. They're fucking, you'll be at a cookout cooking fucking hot dogs, and all they'll see is me sucking off a dog, motherfucker, and you'll throw up. They won't be able to have sex. They won't be able to have relationships. Your wife will never see another dick after you're dead. Yo, I will cook a fucking family of bunny rabbits in front of you because I know that bother you. I know you'll hate it. I hope that that little dog you have, e, that little fucking faggoty dog you have that you bought to make yourself feel better after you're the dog Melly died. I will fuck that, that dog's head in front of you and then ass rape it, motherfucker. I will abduct a fucking goddamn hedgehog and I'll save the fucking hedgehog and I'll shove a dildo in it until it dies in front of you. I hope your mother suffers, motherfucker. I wanna, I wanna buy you a hooker. And then right as she takes off all the clothes, come in the room and bash your brains in with a fucking pan. You cocksucker, motherfucker. You fake beard fuck. You can't even grow a beard, motherfucker. You can't grow shit. I hope hell happens to your mother. I hope hell happens to your family. I will choke a baby dolphin in front of you and blame it on you. I hope Peter abducts your dog and fucks it. That's what I said. Really? Really? And then you hang up like that? That's all you, that, are you done? I mean, that was, that was some next level weird shit, bro, that I've never heard anything like that. I mean, 
I've said a lot of shit over the years myself, but, um, you know, that was a little crazy. I got to be honest. What you just said <clears throat> was uh, maybe some of the weirdest shit I've ever heard. Call back again another time when you're not in jail. Was that like, that was like your one phone call? You you went to jail and then they that's New the call subscriber. you made. You fucking mark. Matt Clark is subscribed. Imagine you come into this show and that's what you hear. That's the first thing you hear is this guy going on a rant. Motherfucker, I eat your asshole. That's all you hear is that guy. And Matt Clark is like, "Yep, this is the type of shit I want." Subscribe. You know, imagine coming here during that. And you're like, yep, that's me. This is for me. This is the show for me. I'm subscribing. What up, Nessa? Nessa's here. Hmm, that was crazy. God damn, that was weird. <laughs> that was active... <laughs> <laughs> Easy money in the chat goes active cooter. Jesus Christ. Um. Mm, I w I was looking for an update again on Rollins. I've been all day. I've been just. I mean, I've been glued to trying to figure this out, but uh. I have not found, you know, anything that tells me like, oh, yes. Like, this is bad news, good news, whatever. I, I just, I don't, I don't see it happening. Where is everybody? Is anybody on the Discord or is there something wrong with the Discord? I'm trying to figure out. Like, the Discord looks weird. Something wrong with the Discord? I see Jag Depans are on hold. I'm going to switch over to Jag. What up, Jack? I mean, Jag. Hello. Jag, Jag, Jag me off to Panzer. What up, Jag? Tuesday night rape. I like that. Did you do that? Yeah, sometimes I'll just hop into a call. Don't really care what you guys are talking about. I'll change the name and leave. Hmm. Yeah, Tony Coke calling that one night. I like those ones, yeah. Somebody the other day was yeah. like, how is this happening? I'm like, well, he's an admin. <laughs> he's an admin. He can do it. Somebody, I didn't know who was doing it, but I knew it was one of the admins. So somebody's like, how is this yeah, happening? It was me, Austin. Well, it could be worse. It could be like Rojas's address or something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine like, uh, but that's why you know, only trusted people are admins. You know, they know exactly yes, what they can do. Like Tuesday night yeah. rape, one hundred percent agree. Yep. That and we can change people's names on here. So that's right. Remember we? I remember. I think it happened to Bullfrog or somebody one time, and he was like, "That's not my name." <laughs> <laughs> like it was like bullfrog touches his niece or something and he was like <laughs> that's not my name <laughs> <It> just, <laughs> I, i'm not gonna put my seal of approval on that one but i think i've done it a couple times it was i think the only time i've done it is we were just hanging out here off air oh man he was so mad at what it wasn't even like a show i want to say it was either like something it was either something small or it was like we were live on another on corrupt or something where something where it was like only like fifty people were watching. It was off time, and he just happened to show up, and we were messing around, and like they just kept changing it. And I wish I could remember where it was because it was really funny. And I remember thinking, oh, we got to clip that later because that is funny. Like it's like five minutes of him just being a nutcase. I know we did it other times and stuff, but I mean this time was the most craziest, and it was in front of like nobody. That's, I mean, yeah, there was like 50 people, but like, you know, it's, we got to find, if anybody knows where that is, I mean, it's a Wandy, stop calling me. A Wandy. What the fuck? I haven't heard that name in years. Uh, just when, whenever he kept, he kept calling Bullfrog on Skype or whatever. Oh my God. I thought he was calling you now. I was like, why? Oh, no, 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 Wandy's no, no. Calling you? <laughs> the hell has he been? A Wandy's dead. Oh. <laughs> a Wandy, you saying? <laughs> yeah. You saying fucking goddamn? Where's uh, Justin Trudeau? He'll say it. <laughs> He's a sand. Where's that song? I like that song. Probably on Patreon somewhere. I couldn't find it one day. I was like, "Where the fuck is it?" It was. Um, I don't know why, but it cracks me up. It's funnier with the beeps. It's funny that like I did it. First of all, I did do yeah. it. Yeah. So, but it's funnier that it's like I yell it and I <laughs> like. 
Yeah, I sometimes when things are implied, they're funnier than when you actually hear it. Yeah. Like that rant that I was playing at the beginning where I'm swearing like crazy, but the guy's bleeping it out. The only problem is that the blanks don't do it as much justice within the beeps, but yeah. it's still funny. It's still stupid. My, uh, I don't know. But I don't know where that Justin Trudeau song is, but it is. It's somewhere, and it's fucking great. It's I know it's on uh, Corrupted, too, somewhere. Like It's like I'm a broadcast. Patreon. I think I took down the original because the original had the N-word. Oh, in it. yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to probably cut that down at some point. <laughs> but I don't know where it is. Maybe I'll I'll find it eventually. Yeah, Patreon. I know it's been a couple months, and you talked about this when they rolled it out, but, like, completely new update on their part with, like, their interface and everything. Yeah. Patreon. It's pretty good. I like it better, but... Yeah, it's... It still has a way... Maybe it's a little... Maybe a little bit too modern for my taste, but I don't know. It's okay. They definitely... Like dark mode. This is the longest project ever, Patreon. Like, it's been out for, like, 10 years, and it's taken them... I mean, I remember the search feature only came out three years ago now. It's yeah. like, you couldn't search something. Like, <laughs> like, they... I don't know. There's just... that Everything is... It, it's like, this should have been all... This is like Diablo 4. It's like this shit should have been done the first two years of Patreon's existence, but they're still just adding things now that you would have thought we would have had a long time ago. It's kind of funny. Yeah. What's up, Gargi? To... You cunt. I'm surprised you're up. He's something. Oh, he's probably uh, probably got Jesse sucking his balls or something right now. <laughs> Cleaning his apartment. Man, remember when What's Her Face uh, got so bloodied? Um, the bunny, she got like bloodied on one of the dynamite episodes, and it's yeah. just like, was it that time of the month? It looks like it. it looks like she went down on Abaddon. Oh yeah, I, I remember. I I don't really watch wrestling, but I do remember that thumbnail. You don't really watch wrestling anymore? No. Uh. Uh-uh. I don't blame you, but. Yeah, I just. There's a lot of shit on YouTube and Twitch and, you know. I can barely watch it, man. It's hard to, uh, it's really hard to watch it now because I don't know what it is. Like, it's almost like, it's like I've seen everything. So yeah. you're, it's like you're re-seeing, and, and here's the thing, over the years, you do see things that you sort of saw before, but it's like still exciting or whatever, but it's like. It's almost like after you've seen it done a third or fourth time, not as good as the first time, it just becomes really lost on you. You're just like, yep, I've seen this type of thing before better, like not only better 10 years ago, but better 15 years ago and w- and better 20 years ago. So it's like, yeah, it's like someone could get thrown off the cage. It's like, well, that's still not as good as when Foley went off or when someone else went off. Somebody like... What's his name? I just saw him on NXT, a clip of, uh, what are they calling him now? Um, fuck. Uh, Brian Pillman Jr., they're calling him something Lion or, no, they're calling him uh, oh, yeah. Rex or King uh, something, whatever. But, like, he just did things in the ring just now, and it was like, I've seen other people at a way higher level do that way more, like, way more emphatically and interestingly. So what he's doing is just, like, whatever, but whatever i don't know it's just not appealing what are you watching yeah, instead I... of wrestling then jag uh youtube just like other stuff gay porn uh, there's, a, there's, gay... there's a guy i twitch on watch that's a streamer and he's from sweden um and it's not pewdiepie that's no <laughs> he's in well pewdiepie's in japan now but I, yeah well they tried to get rid of him so he he, he actually pewdiepie is like one of those people that's like oh i see the writing on the wall okay well fuck it i'm out yeah, he's he's kind of has his own, you know, like through the years, he's like the perfect evolution of man. Like, you know, first he was kind of edgy and all that kind of stuff. And then now he's kind of calmed down a little bit. You can still tell he has that in his soul that he knows that he can't show it off for camera. But, you know, he's got a wife. Now he's got a kid. So he's yeah, in, he's in shape. Was, so I heard he's, he's, he's done really well for himself other than monetarily. Yeah, he doesn't need to do anything ever now, so it doesn't matter anyway. Oh, he, he, no, he, he's, been, he's been fine for years. He's like, oh, fuck this. I don't want to become a, the Nazi guy on YouTube, so I'll just get off of this or, or I'll just start, calm it down. It's crazy to think at one time, whenever he streamed or did anything, it was the most viewed thing ever for like, mm-hmm. I don't know, eight years or six years. 
and yeah. it's like his down. They like they nerfed him. Like they killed him on purpose. Very bizarre. Oh, they did that to him. Um, yeah, well, one person I've noticed that's just kind of like I don't know if it's because I'm not like super interested in their content, but like whenever uh, Doctor Disrespect went from like Twitch to YouTube, mm-hmm. you know his content was kind of pushed out for a couple months, but then like after a while, I've not seen absolutely anything of him, like no clips, like nothing. I haven't heard. I, don't know I if haven't thought of me. I haven't thought of him. I haven't thought about him in a while. You're right. Exactly. Yeah, that's my point. It's just like he doesn't really pop up in my feed, but and he, but he's another one that if he's still streaming, which probably he must be. Um, he's probably set. I mean, he's set too. So, oh yeah, he's he's good. Yeah, he's I, a tall motherfucker. I'm at the age where I don't want to go anywhere or do anything. I just want to be here or sit at home. Like I don't want to go anywhere almost ever. Um, I heard a comedian made a joke about that the other day or somebody on Instagram. It's like a viral video. He's like, Oh, you don't want to go anywhere in your, I'm like, yeah, you don't want to do anything. All these people, um, are always like, go to this, do that. I'm like, no, unless I was I definitely don't, I, I definitely don't feel that way. Cause I, I can't sit here for my work. So you want to go over where you want to go out? I mean, not like in like what aspect? Are you saying like would like, you rather like go see a movie somewhere, or like stay at home, or just like going outside in general? Yeah, you're always trying to go out to like you know the mall or a club or like to an event like a sporting event or music. You always want to go do something. I mean, not necessarily as far as like forms of entertainment, but like I like to go out, you know, go to the gym, and then for my work, I have to you know travel in quotes, but that's at least just driving. So. I guarantee but. you, fucking go to a Comic Con. Or uh, anime those pussy hat. I eventually will. Th- there is one coming here in a couple months that I I will be going to. It's pretty close to me. Yeah. It's just are in the you state doing next to me. quotes? Are you doing like estimate? Are you an estimator or something like that? Are you doing like estimations or what? It, not estimations. No, no. I'll I'll, I'll tell you off air. Yeah, don't no, don't tell. That, yeah, don't tell us on air. No, the I'll, fu- I'll just say I work outside. I very much touch grass. So okay. But yeah, it's like when I used to sell lawn care. <laughs> what a time it was! What a time it was! Yeah, those bastards should have yeah. fucking hired me. Those cocksuckers! They wanted me to go to door to door, and I was like, I don't. I'd rather just book the appointments, like the way I'm doing it. You like, you'll make more yeah, money. I'll the, make more money. Someone in the chat said Ninja was a top streamer for a while. Yeah, he just kind of disappeared. I don't know if he's one of the ones. I no, mean, he went over I to. Guess. He signed that deal with uh, what their what's the mixer. Put- yeah. yeah, and that whatever happened to that? Well, right? I think one of the if my information is correct, and most of the stuff I say, I I just kind of hear. I don't really super keep on track of it, but I think the whole point of them making Mixer was so um, they could have. Uh, content creators create content with like gambling stuff with like gambling stuff because i know on twitch you weren't allowed to play those types of things like a gamble um, mixer what was it i mix- believe so was unless it, i'm thinking of a different was platform. it mixer m-i-x-r i forget what the site even was m-x m-x-r m-x-e-r something like that. yeah mm-hmm. i don't even remember i can't even find it did they close yeah. it down i don't know i have I to look it so. up Mixer. Well, what happened know, to like, Mixer? Th- that one guy called like XQC. He signed with them. He was either that or was another one. I'm already forgetting about because no one cares. And like part of his content was like he would gamble, and like people were just kind of making fun of him because like it said he gambled over like two billion dollars worth of money, but there's no way it was actually his money or like he was actually getting anything. He was just trying to drive traffic to the site. So. Bro, Mixer has been they closed in 2020 (laughs) okay so i'm thinking (laughs) of no no that no they went there because that's when he went there believe that was that long ago now he went he was huge he was like the biggest streamer at the time and then he was like i'm going to mixer exclusively and he signed like a two million five million some crazy million dollar deal went over there and that was it like i think they they had like a green logo I feel like I'm like no, I'm it was stroke. like a blue greenish, like a blue, like a blue and white logo. 
You're thinking of maybe kick? Oh, kick? it's kick. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, of. kick Fuck. has that. Mixer yeah. looks Eat. like this. Yeah. Because yeah, dude, it I'm only it kick. lasted like a year. Like, and, and I remember we said this at the same time. It's like, why would you pay this? Like, if you pay a one person to come over to your site, their niche audience. First of all, half of them go away because they don't follow you. Only a small amount follow you. The, like this is the this should be the blueprint or the advice for any company going forward. Any company out there ever who wants to jump into the space of something else that's bigger and bring people over to them like WCW or whatever else. The first thing you need to do is to grow your own audience a little bit. Like you have to have a marginally decent audience yourself. Right. If you're Mixer, when they started, right, they launch who's on Mixer, 300 people. Right. There's like 300 people. And then like people, word gets out there. There's this new platform. And then all day long, how many people are on it? Maybe 3000, 3000 people. Let's say 10,000 people, 10,000 people are on Mixer. That's not even close to what you need. Right. So then you go get this guy, uh, whatever his fucking name was, I forget, with the green hair and. He brings over his like 10 million. He tells his 10 million followers, hey, I'm going to Mixer exclusively. Uh, come see me over there. Well, only about like 800,000 people actually come over. And, and even when he leaves permanently, they're like, oh, I don't watch that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to go there. I don't get it. What? I don't know. I don't like it. Um, and they just don't do it. So you, now you have 800,000 people that are watching this guy mostly only on this site. And eventually when they all start dropping off and then it just dies and it's like, that's it. You're trying to force feed. A, 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 it doesn't work. You need to create your own, um, your own audience first a little bit and then add to it. It's kind of like Spotify, right? Like you could say that about Spotify, like Joe Rogan. Spotify is already pretty big goddamn big right spotify was already very big like they're right behind itunes they're, at the time I, they might even now be more i don't know if they're more popular than itunes but like i used i used to go to itunes i don't go to itunes at all anymore i just go to spotify Shit. so fucking pandora yeah spotify was like we're here spotify and then they over. and then they made moves they made moves after they after they arrived you don't just try to make moves to arrive that doesn't seem to work you know, I don't know. If this makes any sense to anybody. Yeah, you don't bring you don't bring a whole audience to a fucking platform. It's not gonna work that way. A whole audience? A whole ass audience. You don't bring a, a whole, whole you don't bring a whole we don't know goddamn whole ass audience. God damn this guy was going off on you, saying he'll suck a dog's dick in front of you. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, that, that guy earlier? Yeah, well that was weird. Yeah. I mean I've heard a lot of things, but I, I mean oh, no, no he said he was gonna suck a dog off in front of my family so that it would traumatize like my, my family, like so that they would like grow up weird because they were traumatized by seeing this bizarre act. <laughs> Very bizarre. <laughs> that was fucking stupid. It got me up. I mean, bro, that was, shit. I've never, I mean, like I've thought of some crazy shit, but that was, uh, that was some hey, uh, fucked up shit. Did you like, to go down my steps. Shit bomb. Nope. Mr. Pico. Idea for all black cast over, movie reboot. Um, Donnie Darkie. Donnie Darkie. Yeah, Joe, man. That guy, yeah. Uh, Mr. Pico Boulevard, okay. thank you for the $2. The first dono of the stream. Uh, it is a weird time, but uh, Donnie Darkie could be uh, Dark Darkie. Hi. Darkie. You're a sick piece of shit. For what you just said about that shooting. Fuck you. I hope someone shoots your crack ass. Shoot your crack ass dead, motherfucker. You piece of shit ass fuck face. I, I mean, that guy was crazy. Gargutz's family. Piece of shit fuck face. Sounded like uh, Booker T's mother, <laughs> to be honest. I don't know. Oh, shit. Yo, know, Booker T's mom called the show. That's amazing. Booker hey, and Booker T, they fucking uh, he closed like he. Uh, now you have to be only working for a ring of, uh, reality of wrestling to work there. Now you can't work anywhere else. Oh, he's got exclusive stuff going on. Yeah, wow. You have to only be exclusive to them now. And I know a lot of people are pissed off about it in the Indies right now. Really, I yep. mean, 
Well, why, well, then just don't wrestle there. And then he just signed Jacob Fatu as well. Well, Booker T. Give Joey Begbeg a call, all right? Come down to Texas. Plus, um, he's got a good announce team, though, actually. he's Honestly, his announce team should be... I, I thought his announce team was going to get called up to NXT. At some point, he was so I mean, good. I, I think now that that's why they're going to be exclusive, that's what they're going to do now. Just go straight there. Well, lots of his why people not? have gone there, though, before. That's the thing. So I thought more would be going there, but... Must be... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's interesting. Yeah, it is weird, but other indie wrestlers are like, oh, what the fuck? Like, you're, uh, they're like, uh, remember when Mission Pro Wrestling did this? Remember when Sabotage Wrestling did this? I was like, yeah, it fucking killed the company, but I, but it's Booker T, man. Yeah. He's got fucking, he's got WWE, like, on speed dial, number one. And then it's his mother. Call my Speaking mama. of Booker T... Oh, it Booker comes T. the it comes it comes the whore of a different color. What's up, Rustafa? What's going down, y'all? Can you oh hear me? Oh my god! Every time you say that, it's louder and louder. Interesting. Uh, Go ahead. Sounds okay to me, but his audio quality is not the best. But blew my head off. I, I fixed no, it. No, because at any rate, no, cause <laughs> my Wi-Fi for whatever reason is like going out of control. I'm trying to go like you know oh. <laughs> get all these frequencies right. That's called, uh, that's called hood internet. Modem. The hood internet. No, go ahead, over stuff. How you been, and man? That dollar store Wi-Fi. Yeah, I've already tried it several times, brother. I got to get a new modem. <gasps> Again, I think I'm right with you on that. Every time I fucking live stream, it just starts lagging on me. Oh my no, god! No, dude, we literally had we had so many we had so many storms from the past like couple days. It's just been ridiculous. Yeah, it's yeah, the fucking polar shift's happening. That's what's happening. It's finally happening. We're finally gonna die, guys. Oh, uh, big you in the chat. Jungle, baby, you gonna die. Our electronics are gonna go out. Our fucking favorite movies are gonna be wiped. Ooh. AI is gonna take control of the world. Big yeah. G in the chat wants to know if Rastafa is white or black tonight. Can you please make that a poll? That's a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> Is Rustafa oh, black or white tonight? We'll find out. Of course, mods can make. Let's, let, let's say. Let's say this. Let's say this. How pasty is Joe? Is he light, light, or is he just light as shit? I don't know. You tell me. See the people in the chat. Uh, I mean, he's want free. This. He's white. The I'll, people I'll say, in the chat want this poll about you, but now you're turning it into me. I don't get it. Because it's stupid and there's no reason it should be on me. What, let's talk about you, Joe. Should well, be, why uh, do you want to talk about me? I'm not the one bringing this up. The chat is. Damn. Yeah. The chat yeah, is bringing this idea. up let's, about let's you. It. They're not bringing anything up about me. I, oh, dude, I've seen people like you know troll you in the chat for like I don't know like five. Well, years what do you want to? What should the poll question be for me? Why not? Let's see. Let's see. Like you know how no. white is Joe? Well, I mean, what what should the poll question be for me? How white? How you white is Joe? Is he, like. <laughs> no, no. Is he is he white as in like you know, or is he whiter than Casper? Damn. But I am I, I am very hardcore. white. So like this, is, I don't get it. Like I'm very white, right? Like there's no there's no disparity. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm super Norwegiany white. So there's like nothing to do a poll on because it's just a fact. But you're a mixed. Person. I mean Norwegian. His internet. There, there's there's no Iceland white. There's something wrong with your internet. There's. Right now you're very black because this is a black connection for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. I'm officially black. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. He's got that Polish EBT gone. connection. All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, Joe, you're 99 percent white, one percent black because you're one percent right. chat. Barely, it's barely even on there. I mean, so I think people it would counts. agree. You've got the pass. I'm currently white. Thank you. The pass. The pass. I'm okay. currently racist. Barely got a. Get fucking a fucking piece of the pass. That's about it. Piece of your uh, ass. Joe, did, oh, there you go. Did you hear about that band that got doxxed over the weekend? Band that got doxxed? Which one? Yeah, Sleep Token. Like oh, they, yeah. Nobody knows who they are. And they got doxxed and they erased their entire fucking social media today. Wow. What? I mean, the... I know that they're all secretive or whatever, but like, like, what do you, like, 
Wow. They were trying to be that secretive and they're that upset about it? Yeah. This is like that's when Kiss sl- unmasked. <clears throat> yeah, I was going to say that's kind of what... Kind of like, like, it's kind of like what happened with Slipknot. I remember when people yeah. were trying to figure out who Slipknot was and that wasn't yeah. weird, but it was always like a mystery. Like, who the fuck are they? But I feel like Slipknot was like, even Ghost, Ghost, the same thing, and Slipknot, they're, they're like, Ghost. okay, people figured it out, whatever. But you, but like, I guess with these guys, they, they were like, fuck! I know, right? And it, nobody knows their name. It's not you know what it like is? Keanu Reeves you, or something. Do you think that, you think they did it? You think it's because they have like a past? Like the guys, like, there's a video of him like fucking a goat somewhere or something like that or like doing <laughs> terrible things. And so he's like, man, I don't want to become famous because if I do, everyone's going to find out that I did this and I'll be canceled and I'll be, and I'll be, my life will be ended. So I don't want to do that. Well, you know, what if we created this character like band and like none of it, we didn't use our names. We were mysterious, like, like, like ghost, you know, like that type of, thing. Oh, yeah. that's a great or idea. Like tool when tool did it kind of for a while. Right. And like three of them are like rape it, child rapist. Like and it's like they're like, oh my god, like we're gonna be killed. Like to the, that's why they're freaking out. I should change their so band name to the Red Dots. <laughs> oh shit! So I guess that no, with that or they could look like fucking you know like that fat dude who fucking sang the real uh, Nilly Vanilli song. Uh, you know, you look like some fucking fat piece of ugly shit, and they try to fucking they try to have a. Uh, a whole fucking album with him and nobody fucking bought it. So they probably look like all hideous. Maybe, you know, they have their grandmother calls them, you know, the autistic one, the one with the face. I'm saying they probably have something that they don't want to show. I had heard of sleep token. I had heard of that band before, but I didn't know they would, they were going for that. That's pretty cool. But unfortunately, if you're in the, if you're any sort of a public figure, especially a, a musician that publishes music, you have no privacy in today's, you know, just how it is. I mean, look at look at that mouse dude, that DJ. They fucking found out, and then the marshmallow Dead guy. Mile five. DJ. Yeah, and then the marshmallow guy. Like they found out yeah. his. You know, he looks like a fucking. They look like dorks, or fucking one of them looks like he just did like fucking twelve years in the fucking prison and shit. So yeah, if you know who, ever heard of a guy called Dream or whatever, stupid Minecraft YouTuber? He did like a face reveal or whatever, and he got shit on pretty hard, and he actually looks kind of normal. I don't know. He just seems kind of weird. Yeah, it's like once you cover your face, that I didn't even know they were doing that at all. I had no clue. Yeah, I'd, Until this I don't know any of their music. Uh, I've, they're like kind of like gospel metal. Okay. They've like, like popped. They've, very organy. They popped into my feed. And uh, there's a guy I watch every once in a while. I think he's called like Bradley Hall or something. He's He does like crazy guitar stuff and he'll do memes and stuff like that. And he just made a video about like why he doesn't like them in quotes or whatever i've not i've not watched it but that's like the most recent thing as far as they go that's popped up in my feed so the um, amount of and speaking of which the amount of christian metal people that i know is insane the people that i know that go to church and listen to metal well, that's what happens very that's what happens christian when you're metal too, shit, piece of shit casey is raw what's up uh, his, inter- what? his internet needs to go to confession What's wrong with your internet? Hold on, let me reset this, uh, Rustafa. <clears throat> Maybe it's me. You reset no, it's Rustafa? you. No, it's definitely no, Rustafa. It's him. Obama phone. No, He's got that fucking jitterbug. Obama shit. phone? <laughs> yep. Hit that Mint Mobile. Uh, He's got that consumer <laughs> cellular. <laughs> well, I, I got to be honest, the poll is very, well, it's not very close, but it's a, it was closer than I thought. What is Rustafa tonight? 42 votes for white. What? I'm surprised with that, that internet. With that internet, I'm shocked that this is the result. Well, the but... poll wasn't about. Oh, clearly I have a bigger dick him. than everybody that's here. Apparently, so okay. All right, let's see how white I am. Wait, what did you? Wait, 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 a minute, wait a second. What did you, Rustava, What did you just say? Oh my gosh. Um, you know what? I'm out of here. I'm just gonna reset my Wi-Fi. This is, this is ridiculous. Yeah. Did he, wait a minute. I want to hear what he just said. I, I, oh my God. I think he said. <laughs> that internet, I'm shocked that this. I think he said something about having a bigger dick than everybody. Hold on, let me just go back. And I do. Well, oh, clearly internet. I have a bigger dick than everybody that's here. Apparently, so. Wow, I mean, so the that is head. some defensive. Damn. That is some of the most defensive shit I've ever heard. Like everybody was everybody defensive. Defensive. How about matter of fact, let's go with that. Okay. What? Are you so playing fun. into the black stereotype? 
Actually, no. I just have a bigger dick than everybody that's here, apparently, because this is the only thing that we're freaking talking about. Wow. It's, well, it's, I mean, uh, I'm just going with what the what the chat said. I don't, you know, I I didn't plan on this. This is very weird. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 But do you have a nice asshole? Up, I mean, Jag the, Jag is the one who brought it up to me, and I looked at the chat and I saw it, and I went, okay, well, let's. All right, I'll do the poll. People asked for it. I was like, all right, yeah. fine, I'll do the poll. You that is so prepubescent. <laughs> what the fuck? Who Jag? That that is. Yeah, but he is. I mean, he's got puss, oh, yeah, pussy totally. hats I don't, on. My balls haven't dropped at all. You know, I'm, you know. Yeah. All that stuff. It's okay. No worries. There's more. Don't worry. I've, I've seen you since probably, <laughs> probably worse than, like, you know, with the next, like, last fucking movies. stop has got a gun next to him or something. Damn. <laughs> all that metal's interfering with his phone. Oh, good. <laughs> Dude, what is going on with you, Rostop? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Hold up, hold up. Who names himself Hard Target Ghost? What the hell does that even mean? Oh, you're pulling it. Hard at draws on at this Target one. Ghost. I have no idea. That, you know what? That deserves a vote right there. There's a, literally a guy. Oh my god. Chat. Oh my god. I had to back out of that. Let me come. Jesus Christ, Rustafa. We can't hear a, a goddamn thing you're saying, Rustafa. Okay, <laughs> that was awful. I what is going on with this internet, dude? I thought mine was bad. Yeah, that boy go Should get a new phone. <laughs> Fuck, got that mosey on down to the fucking to the corner store and get a phone from from the Habibs. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounded like. This fucker, you in the matrix. Bug. You in the matrix, Mr. Salva? Uh, it's fucking glitching out, dude. Those glitch stuff for everybody. Glitchstaffer, yeah. classic Glitchstaffer. Oh, by the way, um, yeah, so. R- Rojas, I mean, Rostafa, not Rostafa, Luke Rojas, yeah. He was robbed earlier today. It's crazy. Anally? Like, as this Virginia. No, I mean, like, he was robbed. He was I've been going to wrestling shows for over 30 years. Never in all that time oh. have I ever felt until last Sunday that my security, my safety, my life was in danger at a wrestling show. Is Rastafa white or black is the wrong question you're asking. The real question is how do you spell his name and it's M-U-S-T-A-F-A, Mustafa and he is a proud Filipino. He is part of my Caliban Mustafa Santos. He will help me explode AJ Adams. Damn. What the fuck? I gotta be honest, General Santos, I think he won the war against AJ Adams because we haven't seen him in a while. You know, I think he ran away. I think you scared him pretty well. You know, so good to- I've been going to wrestling shows ago, for over like 30 asleep. years. Never in all that time have I ever felt until last General Sunday, Santos has been sending double donos for like the last couple of days. I don't know what's up with that. But. In danger at a wrestling show. Casey is wrong. Is Rastafa white or black is the wrong question you're asking. See? The real question is how do you spell fuck? his name and it's M-U-S-T-A-F-A, Mustafa, and he is a proud Filipino. Most he of is my. part of my Caliban Mustafa Santos. He will help me explode AJ Adams now. Oh. That one was a little uh, bit different. It just read it. It's like, yeah, the weird that the computer read it in a different voice that time. No, Luke was not robbed. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> Luke was robbed, everybody. Oh, he's okay. uh, I saw this parody the other day of uh, Tony Khan on cocaine, and it's that... that- that fucking picture? Eric Clapton song, cocaine. Oh my god! But it's like, yeah, they do like a whole thing on. There's a lot of room uh, to run with that one. There's a you yeah. Some, you can do some good shit with that. Can you imagine if they had a camera backstage in AEW? How much more? Like it'd be so much more interesting if there was a backstage show about AEW, which I think there was actually. So I'm I'm retarded, but. Um, like, but but it was real. Like they they just did anything and everything, and it, nothing would be taken off. Like, and I know they they did that actually. So I'm retarded for saying this, but like we could have seen Tony Khan all his moments and all his like, <laughs> like just everything, and we could have seen the punk thing, and we could have seen like that. If there was a one hour movie or two hour documentary on AEW's first four years. Man, it would have been a hit 
for sure. Like, I mean, you'd have like the, um, I mean, just so much drama. Like, people have died, the fights in the backstage, the young cucks, like the all the fucking sexual shit going down. Did you, yeah, there was another guy. There was a there was a. Did you see? Have you been reading that four chan uh, wrestler? It's like anonymous, so he's answering all these questions that people are asking. They're asking him about like how it really is backstage and how the, how the parties are after the pay per views. And he's like, yeah, Tony Khan's definitely doing cocaine. You know, J- Jungle Boy and Anna Jay were sleeping together. It just goes on on all these lists. Jericho's been in an open relationship, but you know he still fucks around. Um, you know you haven't seen this yet. No. But I'm I'm I mean I've heard some of this stuff you know. Yeah, so you had that in your title the other day. Yeah, I fucking broke that bull of shit down. There was a lot of fucking you know, a lot of allegations there, and you know the, nobody's knowing if they're trolling or what. But people are narrowing it down to the guy who works backstage in AW, and he's worked at NXT and TNA mm. before already. How it goes? You post one thing on 4chan, they got your latitude and longitude in a day. Hmm. Yeah, that's a mistake. And a cum jar. Hey. <laughs> you yeah, know the was... deal. <laughs> Rainbow, what was it? Rainbow. It was the My Little Pony cum jar. Yeah, the Jimmy Havoc meltdown would have been really cool. Jimmy Havoc and Jimmy Seafood freaking out. Jimmy Seafood? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Jimmy Havoc incident happened at Jimmy Seafood. Although, no, he was really fired for all the sexual stuff with the women, right? He wasn't really fired for the fight. At Jimmy Seafood, right? Am I ro- wrong? Uh, uh, when was this? Like four years ago? Yeah, it was like eight months into AEW or six. Not not even like six months into AEW, I think. Jimmy Havoc was fired for... I, I think he Are was part of that... I think it was part of that whole Me Too thing that happened, like with the women. I think something on him came out and they got rid of him. And that was after the fight at Jimmy Seafood. They fought over Tony Khan's penis. It was weird. Dude, the guy had a weird face, but yeah, he's banned for life, I think. From yeah. AEW. Oh yeah, he is. They he was like a major original, you know, there's like original fifteen guys. He was one of them. How much did Tony Khan pay for him? Six figures too? Um uh, yeah, I think he got paid probably a hundred thousand or ninety thousand, something like that. Fuck. Uh. Joey Janela number two. I'm pretty sure. I, I think to begin, everybody got 100k. I really well, they started out, yeah, and I think they probably got stocks too, right? Um, are there stocks? I don't think so. They're think a, private a private company. company. Yeah, there's no stocks. They're private. I mean, remember so WWE? Only the board has it. Yeah, remember yeah. WWE went public in like 2001. I mean, they were already a company for like 50 years. Now they're TKO. Now they're, yeah, now they're just part of another company, all con- yeah. fucking consolidating into each other. Yep, pretty much. But yeah, that's what makes they're AEW allowed to like do a lot of things that they do is because they're still a private company. So they want to keep stuff in-house. There's no board or any other bullshit they have to deal with. They're just like, yep, we'll do whatever we want. Fuck you. I mean, unless they get sued. Use, I'm going to use real glass, motherfucker. And what? <laughs> right. Like, they're not controlled by any, almost, I mean, beside the network, I guess. I mean, they can say, we don't like this or that. But other than that, it's like, okay, well, maybe we don't like you either. We'll take our show somewhere else. Like, but, but yeah. WWE, it's like, oh, yeah, we're going to have to have that meeting. Yeah. yeah, we're going to have to have a meeting over here. Oh, my God. I fucking hate meetings, especially. I have to go to a meeting yep. tomorrow. Really? Fuck. I was supposed to go to and a meeting. I don't meeting. even work tomorrow. I'm supposed to go to a meeting yesterday, but or today rather, but because I didn't have gas money, I couldn't get to it, and I couldn't get to my oh, job. Oh, that's a good way to fucking piss off your fucking employer. Right? They're not happy, I don't think, because they were like, "Can you get here tomorrow?" Because uh, it's they really want everybody there, and now I'm trying to figure out how to get there tomorrow. I'm like, um, but it how may, far of a drive is it? It's kind of far. Point so. three miles. No, it, no, it's not. <laughs> Wendy's. Wendy's. It's not Wendy's. <laughs> So that's the pro. That's the other problem. So I'm like, I I could maybe get there tomorrow. Maybe if I transfer some of this PayPal money from earlier today to my like other, I don't even know if that's possible to pay for gas. I have no idea. So because PayPal takes a couple of days to transfer usually. So I'm like, ah, uh, I don't know. But if I go to the me, if I were to go to the meeting tomorrow, 
I probably wouldn't be able to make it to work Thursday. You know, it's like I'm waiting for Friday's paycheck. So it's like, Damn, I don't know what. How to far do. do you? It's like all the way across town and shit. Yeah, th- yeah. The meeting is at a different place, so it's like forty. It's gonna be a forty-five minutes. I've got about. I don't know. I've got a. I've got about ten, maybe eight or ten minutes of gas. I'm going by min. By the way, I'm going by minutes. If you didn't know, it's not miles. <laughs> I was like, yeah. What kind of- yeah. My 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 brain car. my brain likes that better. My brain doesn't like being like, oh, you know, I've got fifty miles of gas. No, I, I just my brain goes to like, well, you probably got ten minutes of driving. As the crow flies, I'm retarded. Well, I mean, fifty minutes. I'm kind of retarded. You can fifty minutes, depending on how fast you're going. You can get there in five. And yeah, fifty, 50 miles. You gotta let that minutes. shit coast. <laughs> <laughs> Just put some kerosene oh in it, God. you know, a little bit of uh, lawnmower, mm. gasoline oil. in it. But you got gasoline somewhere. I hate when you're doing a sales job and you realize, like, what the ceiling is. Like, you figure it out and you're like, oh, no. Like, Don't they give you mileage for that shit, too? No. No, they should. The f- they, uh, some other yeah. place did, yeah, but no. But, well, I mean, you know, write it off on the taxes later, but at the end of the yeah. year. Um. What also, the fuck? they should be giving you mileage. No wonder you fucking have no gas. Well, they're also taking extra taxes because I guess I guess they decided that they were lazy, and they don't want to have to figure out everyone's individual taxes every paycheck. So what they do is they take the maximum amount of taxes. So you cannot, you cannot ask for them to take less, like or take Did whatever. You when you said amount, so the amount is a lot. It's like basically. Other people who are, work at my place, when they get their their um when they do their taxes at the end of the year, they're all gonna mm-hmm. get like between ten and fifteen thousand dollars back, right? Because yeah. over the course of the of the year, so much was taken. Like if you make five thousand dollars, they're taxing that like thirty five percent or some crazy number or some shit. And so, but you'll get it back at the end of the year. But you're like, well, fuck, I have lots of monthly bills. I could use it now. Well, that's tough. The company decided to do taxes this certain way. And I looked it up. Apparently, it's legal. They can do it. Um, so that's been hurting me ever since they started doing it like seven months ago or eight months ago. And um, But here's the thing about that. The biggest argument back when, when, when we're like, well, this sucks, the, the people in charge were like, well, it's okay. You will get the money back at the end of the year. And I'm like, well, guess what? I will not get the money back at the end of the year. Because you owe because fucking taxes. Exactly. Because <laughs> I owe the IRS. So they're going to take that immediately. Because, But they wouldn't have taken it if you'd given it to me. And then I could put some of it away to help pay them back in the way that I'm paying them back. But I would have the other money to live because I need to make 85. I've been going to wrestling shows for over 30 fucking years. Fucking assholes. Never in all that time General have I Santos. ever felt until last Sunday. Again? The same that my donut? security, my safety, um, my life was in danger at a wrestling show. I think this show. one's different. Of course, AJ Adams has ran away. He out of money. He robbing some banks or he in jail. AJ fears Santos. <laughs> Garguts fears Santos. Philippines better than Mexico. All you Mexicans bow down. Road a day Santos. Me and my people are superior to our speed tech. Wow. Y'all are the All same the fucking Mexicans are in back of the wall. Unbelievable. General Santos, thank you for the three dollars. Congratulations, President Trump, for winning the cock asses uh in Iowa. And uh Vivek uh joining you. It was amazing. Thank you, Joe. you guys are afraid. Is he gonna be your VP, uh, Donald? Because it seems like you guys are buddy buddy now. Pretty much. It was honestly gonna be Robert Kennedy, but I decided to change it up because Vivek is a pretty good good guy. Even though he's a different, darker shade than me, he's a pretty mm-hmm. good dude, decent guy. Trust me. Well, uh, yeah, I, I, I actually, it's weird. I go back and forth. I got to be honest, Mr. Trump, and thank you for joining us. I go back and forth. Part of me loves the guy. He's amazing, but he's so perfect. It's weird, and it makes me think he's like an FBI insider, psyop. And that he's there to like spy on you and do something. It's very, it's just he's so perfect with everything he's saying. 
it's freaking me out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So just watch your back. I like the guy a lot. Like, I would vote for him. But, like, there's a part of me that's like, no, don't do that because I think he might be, like, he's just weird. It's too perfect, you know? And some Obama speeches he's ripped off. But whatever, you guys look great today on the cock asses, you know? He proved his loyalty by giving me some slobby tabby, Jeff. Oh, my God. When will we get to hear that audio tape? Because that would be sexy. Oh, it should be coming up pretty soon. When, when I, I, oh, okay. I got an idea. I got an idea. Nice. The idea is if I, if I win the presidency, which I will, I will release the audio. It's going to be amazing. Well, let me ask you this. Well, yeah, it will be amazing. I'll be jerking off. But here's the other thing. Trump, why even run when, you know, you said the first election, you know, the last election was stolen. Um, why run this time? Won't they just steal it again, sir? Well, they're not going to steal it from us. The thing is, the Democrats are so weak. The Americans are waking up. They're seeing Sleepy Joe, how crazy he is. He's always asleep. He's, he's in his house, sleeping, <laughs> watching fake news, CNN. And I'm out here campaigning on my cock ass all the time with Vivek, and we're doing amazing things for this country, Joe. Amazing, tremendous things. Well, uh, right now the, the goddamn country's falling apart, sir, and to be honest, you know, hey. I've never voted Republican. Hey. I might vote for you, Donald Trump. I might vote for you. I've never voted Republican in my life. I think you should take that as an honor, although you've really been you've been a Democrat before, so... But, you know, you should take that, I think, as an honor. I'm going to go to the poll in front of my wife, who may divorce me, and do it in her face. Make sure to put her on a poll as well, Joe, just for your president. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, we'll do that. Um, and you and you make sure. Now, how, how are things that you and, and the wife, how often do you guys still make love to each other? Does that happen? I mean, she she's uh, occasionally with, hooks up with the Kremlin from time to time. But the thing what? is, I could get any woman I want. You just simply throw a couple of grand at them, and they just latch their legs upon me. <laughs> is that all it takes? Like a face hug of alien. It's amazing, Joe. Well, remember Robert Kraft, you know, his Patriots owner, he got a lot of rubbing tugs in Florida, you know, which I have no problem with. You know, his wife died. You know, you're going to get it off. And, uh... Melania, though, man, how does like how does she smell down there? You know, that's what I'm I'm wondering. She honestly smells like old man and farts. It's pretty disgusting. What? I'm only with her for the looks, just oh. for the looks, Joe. But there's a downwind to that, like so, because uh, people say that about uh, Michelle Obama that she's a stinky one too. Like, remember, she has a penis. Oh well, that's people say that she was Michael Obama. I don't know. But um, the Alex Jones song, remember that? I'm just song? kidding, Joe. I'll tell you. I'll tell you some secret information. Though, okay. Jim. The, okay. The secret information is I'm gonna win in November, Joe. I'm obviously gonna win. That's the secret. Well, I don't think that's secret. You keep you've been like basically saying that's gonna happen. Like, is that really a secret? I think it's, it's gonna secret. happen, Joe. It's it's my secret. A secret would be like you know. That you hide, you, that you ejaculate into the cookie jar in the left wing or, or or whatever of the building of the White House. Like, what's the cra Like, you know, we've already got cocaine in the White House from Hunter Biden or whatever, most likely. Um, what's the craziest thing that you did when you were in the White House? You know, let's be honest. You know, you can't I mean you obviously. You know, it's not going to be any worse than cocaine and Bill Clinton coming on a girl on a dress and whatever clerk. You know, so what did you do in the White House? That's something you know that you haven't told anybody about. I invited Tommy and C to the White House one time, but he didn't decide to show up, so I just showed up to Black Mountain and left balloons in front of his door. Oh, my God. Tommy, you hear that? We figured out who sent you balloons. It's the fucking president. It was me. It was me. All of them, Joe. It wasn't him. It was me. That's beautiful. I said the secret service to plant balloons. You're a beautiful human being, let me tell you that. When I, when I, I always thought you were a scumbag, but I love you now. Um, did you ever notice that in Gremlins 2 that they, they made a uh, Mr. Clampett uh, was basically portrayed um, a portrayal of you in that movie in Gremlins 2? It was, I mean, I, I thought it was pretty good, but did you like that portrayal of you in that movie or were you upset when you found out? Or did you know that? I honestly didn't know that, Joe. All I know is that we got that Alec Baldwin guy that tried to imitate me. He does pretty good imitations. He's a really good guy. I, I approve. Is he really it, good? He shot is... somebody not that long ago. He's... 
I've been going to wrestling shows for over 30 years. Oh, Never General Santos. In all that time have I ever felt until last Sunday that my security, my safety, my life was in danger at a wrestling show. Came to President elect Trump. I salute you. No. I will vote for you, Trump. I will devour everyone who won't vote for you. Let's make America great again. Let's make America white exactly. again. Oh. Let's banish the border. Let's make it white again, baby. That's what blacks. we're going to do. I would like to, Joe, on this show, I would like to announce my campaign for the monetizers championship. I'm going to take the presidency and the championship wow. from the show, and I'm going to take it on tour. On the podium, in front of my rallies, my not my KKK rallies. I mean, oh, oh. no, the Trump rallies. I'm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Donald, wait a minute. Well, oh my God, you've done more for black people than Joe Biden. That's not. I think you're not. Well, you're very diverse. No, it's the KKK. It means clams kicking. Dem I don't know what to say. It's it's basically Kites? we're against the Democrats. It's the KKK against the Democrats, not oh. blacks, Democrats. Oh, I got you. Okay. I had to okay. save myself there, Joe. I kind of slipped. It's okay. I kind of slipped like how Sleepy Joe slipped off a That's bike. like when you told the Proud Boys to stand by or whatever. That was weird. Stand down, stand by. <laughs> uh, and now they're all in jail for, like, I mean, they weren't, well, some, one of them wasn't even there and he's in jail for like 20 years. That's pretty crazy. What do you think about Maybe that? Sleepy Joe should go to jail. Well, I think he's going to go to heaven pretty soon or hell or whatever the hell he's going to go to. And he'll join as one of his well, kids. Well, Mr. Cronin, if I win the belt, you better ship it to me. If not, I will Secret Service come and take it from you. Wow. Well, that's fine. Because I, I see what you did to it. Mr. Rojas. Well, no, he's, you shipped I, him panties. He'll have the belt. I bet you he'll have the belt and he'll need. he'll be the one that ships you the belt. Sadly, you'll receive the belt from New Jersey. I know that's a smelly place, but that's where you'll get it from. Chris Christie lives in New Jersey, doesn't he? He does, yeah. He's a big, fat lardo. Just like Tommy. <laughs> yes, just like Tommy, who's grown 17 necks since I last saw him in person. Slob 75. Oh, screw you, Joe. Oh, wait, Tommy, Tommy. Tommy's here as well. Hello, yes. Mr. NC. What brings you here? Probably uh, you. I didn't expect to see the president here, Joe. Yeah, that's what Tommy, he invited you to the White House and you never even showed up. Did you know this? Flop. No, I, I didn't, Joe. Joe I, I don't know how to read. Oh, that's right. I always slob forget that you don't know how to read, but. but well, you could have used the machine, you idiot. That's right. Why don't you use Stephen Hawking's method? Just look, you know, have the screen read it to you and then jerk off to midgets fucking kids, you know? Ah, uh, screw you, Joe. No, screw your dad. Um, so, uh, Tommy, Which let me one? ask you. I'm, I'm, uh, how about I have to hop off, Joe? This All right, well, you know what? Fuck you. How about that? How about this? How about this? Oh, screw you. How about this? How about you oh. go suck on the tits of your birth mother who's a suck, fat version with Suck will. off. <laughs> Fuck your family. How about that? Slob. I guess he left the college. Well, yet. there goes Tommy. Well, fuck him. Fuck you, Tommy. And hope your hope your birth parents suffer for having you. Scumbag. By the way, I oh, oh by the way, I jerked off to that to that video of you meeting your birth mother. How about that? I jerked off to it. Imagine me beating off to your piggy mother meeting you. You guys met. I was like, oh, it's crazy. Um Die in a car fire. Anyway, um, thank you very much for being here, Tommy. Really appreciate it. Good night. And Mr. Trump, uh, it's been great as well. I don't know if you're hanging out or you're taking off, but we really, really love you now here, especially since you're here. You know, I we, we, we try to get Joe Biden on the air, but he every time I send him a message to his people, his people just say, Joe Biden will not be going on the Joe Rogan show. And I'm like, no, 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 Joe Cronin show. It's the Joe Cronin show. And they're like, no, no, he he is not allowed to do Joe Rogan and I'm like it's fucking not Rogan and they don't they just don't listen well yeah. Mr. Cronin he's gonna need a teleprompter to go on the show well I think it's getting to the point where he can't re even read the teleprompter I think that's more confusing I think just he's like Tommy right right no they're gonna move it really they're gonna have to move it so close to him at some point they're gonna have to put the camera on top of the teleprompter in front of the desk that way he can like because otherwise he's just like squinting and looking and and then, uh, it just gets he just gets lost, man. I'll tell you what we have had some great times in this country over the last 
like 20 something years like the gift of George Bush Jr um and just how retarded he was at times and then you know Trump and Biden like it has been a treat Obama wasn't really that entertaining Obama was way too well spoken so that wasn't fun you know he was just like we're going to do this and we're going to do that you know Clinton was the same way they just spoke so well that it was like it was never a pro- they they were so well spoken they never had a problem. You never really felt uncomfortable with them. They could tell you almost anything. You believe it. But like Bush, Biden, and Trump to an extent because he's so silly with some of the stuff. Those three, man, what entertainment. I don't know if there's ever been. Has there ever been presidents like this going back hundreds and hundreds of years like as for the presidencies? Like who has been this entertaining? Like the other ones were all very presidential, like, you know, Carter and Clinton and everybody like I mean, we had one in a wheelchair. I mean, like, and no, nobody was nobody. Howard Carmichael. Howard Carmichael. Who the fuck is that? I don't know. I made that up. Oh, and I'm, I'm like, that's not a president. I mean, I you, be- you would have believed it. You would have believed no, it. No, I would not have believed it. <laughs> Listen, I Eisen- had said Alexander Carmichael. You don't know. Oh, OK, yeah, of course. Al- maybe uh, uh, I Eisenhower was like a stone face, stone cold motherfucker. Like, you know, every one of the presidents is like a dead serious, like, guy. Well, think about, you know, you talk about entertaining presidents. Um, You know, think about champions, really. And, and who's been a more entertaining champion than myself? And yet you still dick me around with the fucking belts. What the fuck is going on? No new news, by the way. He has not sent me anything. Uh, recently, and uh, I'm I'm fucking calling you out. When are you gonna send these fucking belts to me, bro? Because I I mean plural. I mean both of them. Let me tell you something. Think I was just gonna for fuck. Think I was just gonna forget about this weekend where you embarrassed me. Let me tell made you, me look like a fool. Let me tell you something. There has not been a donation over ten dollars on this show tonight. Ooh, does, is that my problem? No, do you realize I won the that, Luke? Title. Do you realize that, Luke? And I I'm I'm blaming your family for that. I'm blaming you. I'm blaming you. You're getting what you deserve. You're getting what you deserve. You've you've dicked around. You're monetized this champion. Your your co-host, your friend, Luke, if, if that's what you even consider me, you probably consider me just a lump of shit that shows up on your <laughs> podcast. All right, JB, calm down. This mo- this motherfucker, by the way, uh, let me tell you something. I know <laughs> it pain- I know it pains him anytime he has to send me any bit of money on PayPal. I know it like it really is like I can't believe that this fat nobody in New Jersey is draining money from my account. Even if it's a little bit. Like I know it enrages Joe. No. And just like it enrages me that the belts have not been sent. And you know, I think honestly you're becoming a bit of a scumbag. I think I've always been one. Let not me, always. Let me tell you what you're becoming. You're becoming a virgin crybaby adult. That's what you're becoming. I already am one. So what are you going to do about that, well, mister? You, exactly. You're, you, exactly. But the crybaby part is coming. You know what I mean? You didn't really have that. Well, I, you want to know another thing? Two minutes before I got on the call, I busted a load. So hmm. who's the real winner? Who's, who looks stupid now? I'm gonna, you, I'm actually going to do that in about five minutes when this show ends. I am going to explode all over my floor in this basement. Like, it is going to be... I'm going to drain it. You going to add to the water damage? Do it now. What, you, you know what? Imagine that. I just, I'll just i jerk off with all my... I'll turn all the mics up. And I'll jerk off on stream for $1,000. How about that? Another thing Joe won't do. Thousand dollars, I whack off. He says he will. Imagine that you just hear me going, and I'm like, oh, and that's like what we're listening to. Yeah, that's what Joe of yesteryear would do, but not new. I do man sellout Joe, thirty nine year old guy. I do it, and then you can send it to Keemstar. Thirty nine year old guy, man. I'm just kind of I'm just chilling out with my fucking basketball shorts and my. And my T-shirt from fucking fifteen years ago. I mean, just shut <laughs> the fuck up. I am wearing gym pants. You want? And I and I mean what I said la- earlier today. 
when I said that your old house looked definitely looks like it smelled like piss. Like it really, they're like they had this piss color the entire time. I always thought that. I was like, oh well, the walls were yellow. Like dirty. The walls, the walls were yellow. Yeah, it looks like a fucking dirty, dingy ass a place. golden shower, mind you. Well, golden shower. Great point. Let's be fair, my point, mother, a my great mo- man. Bro, my mother painted the walls yellow, and I hate yellow. It was gross. It was awful. Well, you know what was also was gross was the whole living room. Just looked like a colossal mess. That, and then the mess just never ended. It just never fucking ended, bro. Your whole your whole house looked like it smelled like piss. And I'm and I'm gonna. You know what? I think it did. So Are you type that in the chat. My apartment, Luke. I would agree with you, but my mother would. <laughs> no, no, no. T- my mother would have freaked out. Your house, your house looks like it smells like shit. There's a big difference. Piss is. Piss oh is yeah, because tolerable. your mother was here, Luke. I you got, said that got before. Messy. Like with my mother. Things got messy, Luke. Yeah. That's not. That's not nice. To Tommy's say back now. Mother. Tommy, you're back. I thought you were I'm crying. Cry. Something. Yeah, yeah. They were talking about my apartment, so I had to hop back the one on the, the show. The Joe. one the government pays for, Tommy. No, you paid for it, Joe. I made you so much money. I didn't. I barely gave you any of it. No, I made you money, Joe, and I want another mask. Well, I got about five bucks, brother. So, I'll I'll, I'll take it. I'll buy it off of Temu. Mm. Timu? Yeah, whatever it's called, Joe. Is it pronounced Timu or what? <laughs> then he said Temu. He said Temu. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I don't know what it's pronounced. I guess I thought it was Timu. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> well, Tommy, I have no. Yeah, no funny puke. I wish I did give you more money back in the day, Tommy, because I had it, you know, back then. You know, I feel bad. Now it's like, what can I? I can't help you now, you know. And I have seven thousand in bills a month. It's fucking crazy. Oh, thank you for that fedora, Joe, from years ago, the red one. Remember when you sent me the fedora? I still have your fedora. In fact, I stepped on it yesterday. Why are you stepping on it, Joe? Wear it with honor on the stream right now, Joe. I will, I will say, people always say you look like you smell, and you really don't. Like People say it all the time, and I said every time I met you, I was like, no, you didn't smell at all. In fact, it smelled good to be, you know? You smelled fun. Well, people that was Tommy. Around, again, that was... That was Tommy from yesteryear. The new People Tommy. People around the my we've town seen. call me Mr. Clean. Yeah, wow. they, they don't. Um, they probably call you Mr. Big Fat Lard Piece of Shit who should die soon oh. and will die soon. Oh, look in the mirror. Hmm. I'm not three million pounds. <laughs> it's 2,000. Get it I'm, right. I'm fat. I'm fat. Don't get me wrong. But, Tommy, the difference between me and you is like the difference between... Alexa Bliss and Nia Jax. You know what I mean? Tommy. Hey, Joe, you got two celebrities here. You got Leonardo DiCaprio and Jack Black. Mm. No. You know, Jack Black. Wait, who's, and... the Le- who's Leonardo DiCaprio? Me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> is, that, <laughs> is that what you fancy yourself to look like? Is Leonardo DiCaprio. And, and what a horrible person to choose, too. I mean, what you just fuck just underage girls all the time like him? Oh, I mean eighteen. And tell people they can't. He waits they, till they're eighteen. Tell people the whole world's they're coming on in the there. age, Luke. Climate activist. Greta Thunberg. I really like that movie where he goes, "Shut up!" Like where he yells because then, like, oh my god, man. Oh wait, that's every movie he does is that he he just yells and makes up for the fact that he's like an all right actor. Tommy, um. How does it feel to know that, you know, Ashley is fat and ugly as she Joe, is? don't talk about her, Joe. Well, okay, the, how, what, what about Crystal? What about Crystal? How, don't how does talk about feel? her either. Okay, cry, we're, we're not talking about Crystal. We're talking about Crystal. You never heard of her, right? Yeah. Okay, that's enough, Mini Joe. Mini Joe? <laughs> Mini Joe. Oh, is that? Yeah, yeah you. Look, maybe Tommy, I can what? maybe I can emulate mini uh, like emulate Joe and get myself a mini wife. Mm. Well, go on, or maybe go on I... tender or whatever it's called. <laughs> tender. <laughs> tender. 
<laughs> yeah, I can find myself a. a I can get myself a mini blowjob. Oh my god, bro, tender. Go on tender. Just give me fifty <laughs> bucks, Luke. I gotta be honest. If that's now, not now, if that's not an app, somebody needs to make that because Tinder is taking. Are you recommending like, tender. Um, like chicken? Are you recommending chicken tenders or or what? Honestly, that mm. sounds pretty busting right now. Tommy, if you had what meal? Like a deserted island, you had to go there for the rest of your life, and you only had one meal for the rest of your life. What what would it be? Tommy just said he was busting. I would Ooh. probably go with sh- shepherd's pie. <laughs> <laughs> that really is. You know what? That really is something that he would answer. <laughs> I mean, because we're talking to the real Tommy, of course. But this is like this. <laughs> Shepherd's pie. What the fu- I mean, it's not bad. I like shepherd's pie. I, I don't know if I would, if that would be my last meal that I can only ever have for the rest of my life. I probably, honestly, I'm such a, I'm such a little fucking kid, at, <laughs> like at heart. I probably would say chicken nuggets and, or no chicken tenders and fries, you know, or fucking mm. a burger and fries. What about hey, you, Joe, Joe? Have you had the? Had you ever had the adult Happy Meal and got a chicken McNuggy? The no. Adult Happy Meal. Yes, Joe. It's like you get a Big Mac or nuggets, and you get a nugget toy from Kermit, Kermit Frost or whatever his name is. Kermit Joe. Frost. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I love you. I love you, Tommy. This will probably be the last time you ever speak to me. Because I'm going. What do you mean, Joe? Well, I'm going to Mars. I don't know if you know about that. What? I I was hoping to go to Neptune. Mm. (laughs) Okay. Well, you know what? You know what? I'm just glad we don't have to see Uranus. Yeah. And that's nice. And that caps off tonight, Tuesday night rage. Thank you all for joining us. That's the uh, that's the cap off right there. Thank you, Luke. It was a great joke. I agree. Good night. <laughs> I'll see you. I'll see you for the wall review, or, or I guess monetize. Ray W. Thank you for the panties, Luke. I appreciate them. <laughs> I never sent them to you. Anyway, just to announce, me and Joe are going to start doing the wall review together. So if you're if you've been missing Joe's wall reviews, he said, "Hey, I'm gonna have start to doing night, together." Joe. Have a good night, guys. Jesus Christ. Okay. Cool. But you know, Joe, you know Joe. He probably uh, he'll probably cancel it next week. Just <laughs> so next don't Monday get your night. hopes completely up. Next Monday night, the raw review will be me and Luke. Luke's gonna be Jake, but without all the health problems, it'll be amazing. And Ro- and Rostafa might show up probably, but we'll hang up on him. <laughs> no, we gotta have Rostafa just so we can make fun of him. <laughs> I mean, yeah. so we can talk to him about wrestling. I hope he's black the next time he joins us, though, because tonight he was just too white. Oh, my God. Oh, my, oh, my God. God. So I was at the theater. I was at the play, and <laughs> oh my God, all the seats were just completely filled. And, you know, when you're in the business, when you're in the business as I am, um, this is what we call <laughs> this is what we call a filled anus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is what we call oh, a anus, which means packed theater. That um, means we're all you, you wouldn't know that if you were in the business. <laughs> <laughs> the business of butt pumping. Yeah. I it's called you. a uh, it's called a stuffed turkey, as I call it. It's called an everlasting um, squirrel. Uh, well, you know, the rumor and in induendo is <laughs> there's no rumor or induendo, you fucking uh so right. annoying. Why does he say that? <laughs> I don't know, but I know right now oh he's probably God. throwing himself out a window. Um, I don't know. I'll catch you guys later. Keep it hard. We call that, we call that taking a dive in the industry. Peace out. We'll see you then. We'll see you then. Thank you for uh, to Mr. Pico Boulevard for the two bucks, General Santos for the twelve bucks, 
What a lovely one hour and 40 minute stream we had tonight. It looks like Seth Rollins could be injured. We don't have any new news. We thought maybe we'd get some new news, hopefully, but we didn't get any, sadly. And uh, I will see you guys. I don't know when. Maybe Saturday night. Saturday night. Okay. All right. See how white I am. Wait. What did you? Wait. Wait a, wait a second. What did you, Rustavo? Yo, I will cook a fucking family of bunny rabbits in front of you because I know that bother you. I know you'll hate it. I hope that that little dog you have, e that little fucking faggoty dog you have that you bought makes yourself feel better after you're the dog Melly died. I will fuck. Got that dog's head in front of you and then ass rape it, motherfucker. I will abduct a fucking goddamn hedgehog and I'll save the fucking hedgehog and I'll shove a dildo in it until it dies in front of you. I hope your mother suffers, motherfucker. I wanna, I wanna buy you a hooker. And then right as she takes off all the clothes, Come in the room and bash your brains in with a fucking pan. You cocksucker, motherfucker. You fake beard fuck. You can't even grow a beard, motherfucker. You can't grow shit. I hope hell happens to your mother. <laughs> I hope hell happens to your family. I will choke a baby dolphin in front of you and blame it on you. I hope Peter abducts your dog and fucks it. New That's subscriber. what I said. You fucking mark! Really? Really? And then you hang up like that? That's all you, that, are you done? I mean, that was... That was some next level weird shit, bro. That I've never heard anything like that. I mean, I'm over in the UK. It's gotta go! A filming, I thought. All right, everybody, welcome. Thank you for coming here for Star Wars Day. Um, yes, yes, go ahead. You can, yes, you can cheer. Go ahead. Thank you. Yes, the, the devil himself. Awakening is coming to the Force. What's your name, son? My name's not Son. It's Zay. It's all because of the boy. They want him. He's not a boy. He's not a girl, he's... He's Zay. Now, a new hero will join the Force. For the first time in Star Wars, the LGBTQ will be represented. But which side will they be on? Will they choose the light? Or will they choose the dark side of the force? I don't even have a penis, but I've got a lightsaber! Happy birthday, 
Mr. Pico Boulevard. Everybody, give him a happy birthday, baby. Happy birthday, Pico. I forgot about that, man. There's a couple birthdays out there. Um, Thank you, man. We love you, Mr. Pico Boulevard. Thank you, bro. Um, Happy 50, man. That's amazing. Imagine your life, 50. It's, I mean, I'm going to be 40, so that's crazy. So 50 is wild. Right around the corner for me. You're the man, Pico. Keep it hard. Good night, everybody.